you're a trust beneficiary and you feel that the trustee is acting in their own best interest instead of yours, you may wonder, what is trustee self-dealing? I'm Daniel Hunt, a certified legal specialist in estate planning, trust, and probate law. When a trustee favors their own interest over those of trust beneficiaries, this action is called self-dealing. If you're a trust beneficiary who suspects self-dealing by the trustee, you should understand what trustee self-dealing is and how to identify and handle it. First, what is trustee self-dealing? A trustee has a fiduciary duty to act in the best interest of the trust beneficiaries. Under the California Probate Code, Section 16004, the trustee has a duty not to use or deal with trust property for the trustee's own profit or for any other purpose unconnected with the trust, nor to take part in any transaction in which the trustee has an interest adverse to the beneficiary. Self-dealing is a form of breach of fiduciary duty that occurs when a trustee benefits from an action to the detriment of the trust beneficiaries. If the trustee is also a trust beneficiary, then self-dealing occurs when they benefit more from an action than the other beneficiaries. Self-dealing often involves the sale or purchase of trust assets. Here are some common examples of trustee self-dealing. A trustee making gifts or loans to themselves from the trust. A trustee buying a trust asset for an unusually low price. A trustee selling a trust asset to the trust for an unusually high price that belonged to them. A trustee diverting trust funds to personal accounts. A trustee making high-risk investments to benefit themselves and not other beneficiaries. A trustee taking an abnormally high trustee fee as compensation for their services. A trustee receiving kickbacks or indirect income from their actions. How can a beneficiary know when self-dealing has occurred? All acting trustees have a duty to account for their actions annually to the trust beneficiaries. If you suspect that self-dealing may be occurring, beneficiaries can carefully review the annual accounting and look for any of the type of actions listed above. If you observe suspicious activity in the annual accounting or if key information is missing, that may be a red flag worth investigating further. If you are a beneficiary and you suspect the trustee of self-dealing, you'll want to find the best trust litigation attorney possible to protect your inheritance. Usually, a trust litigation attorney will start with a letter to the trustee's attorney demanding more information. Then, they can guide you through the next logical steps, from mediation up to a full-blown court trial. An experienced trust litigation attorney can help you seek to replace the trustee, if desired, and recover monetary losses incurred due to the trustee's self-dealing. If you have any questions regarding trustee self-dealing, feel free to contact our office. Thanks. We hope you found this video helpful. And if you'd like more information on estate planning or our law firm, you can check us out on Facebook, Twitter, or our website that are listed below. If you'd like to contact us, you can do so at 916-488-9788 or at our email info at dhtrustlaw.com. Thanks.